only setup that you really need uh, to become profitable if you really follow it on every trade uh, you do take okay so now you can you can see we are in profits and uh, if your profits have moved we have touched like 60 pips on euro usd so now how did it do that uh, first we went to our daily time frame of course you can see the trend on your daily time frame guys okay the trend was a bearish trend right you can see how the highs were being broken right so after identifying that remember now uh, remember we have this okay we have this high that was broken this is a day time frame guys then uh, you can see when the market reached here actually it did break so it had to first come and break that uh, that neckline because it had made a double tops right so now so now we're waiting for it on a certain demand zone right so now this demand zone i was waiting my price to come so that's it demand zone okay so now i marked my demand zone on my daily time frame why did i mark the demand zone because of this break of market structure on my uh the time frame so if you if you go to your h4 time frame you'll see that this is really a good high that the market had made right so now as you can see also uh when the market tapped in our demand zone right there right when it tapped into our demand zone right here you can see let's go to our 15 minute and you see when it really tapped there you see you can see how it behaved right so now let's go more on our five minute time frame guys right so when it tapped in our demand zone on our daily time frame you can see how the structure started being made right so now we had this okay so we had this it made some so now as you can see it made some uh double bottoms on our m5 you see that is the first bottom okay so now we have the second bottom it is right here okay so now those are the two bottoms that it made so then it came and break the neckline right so now after breaking the neckline you can see you can see how the market came back guys okay so now the market just came back uh, and now yeah it's where we really entered right so now, right so now we had other we had other other entries right so when the market came back to our moving averages that's when i already entered the second uh the second entry 